Good morning, everyone. My name is Miriam. Welcome to the Houston Zoo in our uh, Asian elephant uh, pool. Uh, today, I'm going to tell you about Asian Elephant Awareness Month. Um, so that's something that the Association of Zoos and Aquariums Saving Animals from Extinction Program decided to do for the entire month of August. So World Elephant Day is actually August 12th, um, and that celebrates both species, but Asian elephants are actually a little more endangered than um, African elephants, so they decided to raise awareness throughout the entire month of August, um, for specifically for Asian elephants. So there's actually only about 40 to 50,000 Asian elephants left in uh, wild countries, so that's about 10 times less than African elephants. Um, so because of that, we're going to uh, show you guys a little bit of the babies playing in the pool today. This is how they're celebrating Asian Elephant Awareness Month. So in the pool, we have our two littlest ones, um, Winnie and Teddy. Those are two. The one that's climbing out right now is actually Teddy. He's our youngest. So both uh, turned a year old this year. They were born in 2021. Winnie was born in March and Teddy was born in May. And this one right here is actually, it's really hard to tell in part, but the one in front I think is Teddy and the one that is popping up again is, is Winnie. So those little babies, uh, really love swimming. Um, now that we have the pool filled today, uh, there's multiple opportunities for them to go in and out of the pool and swim. Um, they go in by themselves, but we do have some apples in case we need to encourage them to come back in. Um, but these little ones are actually still learning how to swim. So this pool at the deepest end is about nine feet deep. Where they are right now, it's maybe about five or six feet. So they're not completely in the deep end. So they kind of just now hang out in the, in the kind of the midpoint um, and go back and forth. Um, and so we're kind of waiting for them to uh, get fully comfortable swimming in the deep end before we keep this pool filled all the time. So you may have come and visited the Houston Zoo and seen the pool lowered at a lower water level. And again, that's because uh, we're, we're kind of doing it every few days, raising the water so that we can keep a closer eye on them and um, make sure that they are swimming and, and doing okay. Uh, but once they fully, both of them go into the deep end and are fully swimming and, and seem confident, then we will keep that pool raised uh, for the entirety until we have another baby elephant in however many years. Um, in the pool also, we have two other elephants, uh, Nelson and Joy. So Nelson and Joy are actually full brothers and sister. Uh, so Nelson is the one in front. He's our two-year-old and Joy is our five-year-old and she is behind him right now. Um, Nelson's coming over, maybe coming over to say hi. Um, he's got little tusks already. You may be able to see them if he pops his head out. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, so yeah, he learned how to swim when he was maybe a little over a year old. Um, so he's fully comfortable being in the pool, being in the deep end as well. So we have five elephants that are five years old and younger. Um, so we have lots of babies here at the zoo. Um, and they, like I said, they are constantly in and out of the pool, um, especially when it's really hot. So this is one of the way, easy way for them to stay cool. Um, when they don't have the pool, we will hose them off with, uh, with, a, with water from a hose. Um, or they will make little mud piles and then roll around in that. But they really do enjoy this pool. We have a couple questions coming in. Leanne asked, how long can they swim in deep water? Um, so if you're asking how long they can hold their breath, um, it can be up to a couple of minutes, but remember they have that trunk on the um, end of their uh, nose, so they, as long as they have that trunk above, um, it's kind of like a built-in snorkel, so they can actually, uh, as long as that trunk is above water, they can stay under for a little bit of time. If you're asking how deep the pool is, um, it's about, the deepest part is about nine feet deep in this pool. Um, so there's one side of the pool has a, uh, kind of steps going down and the other side of the pool has a gradient going down. So you're seeing Joy right now. So where she's standing, where Joy is standing, where you see her, she's actually standing on a second level. There's kind of three levels of the pool. Um, so she's actually walking right now. Um, but elephants overall are pretty good swimmers. They uh, can doggy paddle in deeper ends of water. And like I mentioned before, they have the built-in snorkel with their trunk. So as long as that kind of pokes out, then uh, they'll be okay. So I think we're about to get one of our uh, mom elephants into the pool maybe. 
one on the edge right here is Tess. Tess is 39 years old and she is mom to Teddy, Tilly, and Tupelo. So Teddy's a little baby that's poking his head out right next to her. Um, she's been here at the Houston Zoo since 2008 and has uh, had those three calves here at her time here. You can tell Tess is an older elephant because she has that kind of pink freckling you may be able to see on her face and on her trunk. She also has a lot of mud on her right now. So hopefully this, this dip in the pool will kind of rinse that off a little bit and then uh, she'll go back out and then put more mud on herself. Charlie asks, do they have any pool toys? So we do have a couple balls in the pool. Maybe uh, you might've seen them um, kind of over in that corner, they're black balls, those things that look like just things floating. Those are kind of balls that float and they can push those around. Um, there's some other toys that they've kind of drug into the pool, but they've actually sunk a lot of them. So when, the, when we lower the pool water, uh, we pull them out and then they eventually just put them back in again. Um, but usually they just end up playing with each other and kind of trying to climb all over each other and push each other down, just like kids playing in the pool with their siblings. So Tess is really just interested in getting these apples right now that uh, we're throwing into the pool for her. Um, I don't know if she's gonna fully submerge herself there. So she is still standing too. She'd have to go all the way to the, that bottom level for her to actually be swimming. So the adults, we don't usually see them go in the pool too often. Um, some of them, it's just a little bit harder for them to walk in. Some are older elephants, um, but Tess is one that'll, she'll come in if you have a, a good enough food reinforcement for her. So these apples, she's making her way in that, that far. Does the herd always have access to the pool? So if they have access to this yard, they will have access to the pool. But again, uh, the pool water level kind of varies. Um, and that's simply because we're waiting on the two littlest ones, Winnie and Teddy, to feel completely comfortable uh, being in the pool and swimming. Um, so swimming is something that they have to learn how to do, just like, you know, a human has to learn how to swim. Um, so they start out splashing around and usually all elephants really love water, so there's nothing to be afraid of, but getting fully submerged and they you know that feeling of not having their feet on solid ground is a little, little scary. So uh, it takes them a little bit of time to get comfortable with that feeling before they fully, uh, you fully see them swimming in the deep end. Um, and then at that point, we will keep the pool raised at this water level that you see right now. So if you're just joining us, we have Tess and Teddy in the pool. Um, Teddy is Tess's son. Uh, he is probably not standing where he is right now. He's probably kind of swimming. That's why you kind of see him bobbing up and down. Tess is standing, um, so she's still not completely in the deep end. Uh, Teddy was the first out of the two little swans, that being Teddy and Winnie, to, to go into the pool first and to feel comfortable um, swimming in the deeper end. I have another question. Olga asks, how often is the water changed and is it filtered? Um, so it's, I believe it is constantly being filtered and um, change that we have a, a great water quality team that takes care of all of that so we don't have to really um, concern ourselves with that but they check the you know all the good stuff that has to do with the water quality um, and then when it's the pool is lowered uh, they'll test it um, and things like that So we have another keeper over there who's trying to get Tess to go a little bit deeper in the water so that she'll fully submerge herself. Sometimes though they just wanna get a little bit cool with and not completely dunk their head in. So we are throwing apples in the pool to kind of encourage her to go a little further in, but she does have that long trunk so she can just reach them and, and only get the ones that she wants to go get. Teresa asks, how many elephants are in the herd? Um, so we have a total of 13 elephants here at the zoo, but our herd is gonna be nine elephants. And so that's gonna be the adult females and the younger babies. So we have three fully grown adult females, 
testing one of them right in front of y'all. Um, and then we have Mitai and Shawnee. Uh, Mitai is our matriarch. She is 53 years old. Shawnee is another adult female and one of our moms. She's almost going to be uh, 32 in October. And then we have a medium-sized elephant, Tupelo, who will be 12 in October. And then five elephants that are five years old and younger. So that makes up uh, nine elephants in the herd. Um, of those nine, uh, we have two little males, but the rest are female. So Teddy right here in front of y'all is our youngest, and he is a uh, male. And then we have Nelson, who is our two-year-old little male. When is the best time for guests to see them in the pool? Uh, so generally right now we've been having the pool filled um, during the week. Uh, so we are a little, uh, we have more people here on the week for us to kind of make sure and watch and observe them. So we'll usually do it, fill the pool either Monday or Tuesday um, and then lower it again Thursday or Friday. So if you come during the week, unfortunately, um, just with our staffing, uh, we, we don't really have it full on the weekends right now. And with it being so hot recently, you will, if you stick around for just a little bit, you will probably see an elephant in the pool um, just because it's so hot and they do like to uh, cool off. We also have another yard, our bull yard, which has our three younger males in it. And they also have a pool and that is filled full time year round. Um, and so they are in and out as well. Not, maybe not as frequently as our little, little ones, but they do go swimming as well. And you can see them if you just stick around for a little bit. So um, anytime that you guys come to the Houston Zoo, you're helping save animals in the wild. So if you are looking for ways to kind of support Asian elephants and become, become uh, more aware of what you can do, uh, coming to the zoo, part of your proceeds of the, your ticket goes to helping uh, their wild counterparts um, in the range countries that they're from. Have another question how long do elephants live average lifespan of an elephant in human care is about 46 to 47 years old but they can live into their 60s and 70s uh, Mitai, like i mentioned before she's 53 we also have thailand our oldest breeding male he is 57 years old um, both are in, in pretty decent health right now so hopefully they will make it to 60 or maybe even 70 years old test the elephant um, the larger elephant that's in front of y'all she's 39 um, so she is getting up there as well, um, but she still is in good health as well. So Joy right now is kind of thinking about coming in. We'll see if she decides to venture in again. She's got Winnie poking her head out from that rock. Joy is our five-year-old. Winnie is one of our other little babies. Um, so we have a question, when the baby male elephants mature, are they uh, often sent to other zoos? It kind of just depends on the facility. Um, so we are part of the Association of Zoos and Aquariums and there is a, uh, a species survival plan, an SSP, and that's a group that kind of decides on, on where we should, um, if we should breed an elephant or if we should send an elephant to another zoo for breeding purposes. So they give recommendations based off the, the populations in the zoo. Um, and so we kind of just listen to whatever they tell us to do. Um, here at the zoo, we have uh, I'm 13 elephants overall. We have um, uh, six males and seven females. So uh, we do, we are kind of at capacity um, in terms of elephants. So we are not breeding right now. Um, 
in the future, it kind of depends. We may uh, send one of our older males out to another facility or we may um, just keep everybody here. It kind of is up, up, uh, up in the air. Um, so a question coming, can guests see elephant baths? Uh, so we're no longer doing an official uh, chat for the elephant bath, um, but you can come uh, by the barn windows and you will see us bathing the elephants. Uh, usually we can start anywhere from 9 to 9.30 a.m. in the morning. Um, just kind of depends on when we finish cleaning yards um, and, getting, and getting that part of our day done. So I think that everybody's out of the pool, so no one wants any more pool time. So I believe we're going to wrap up. Um, join us next time, uh, next Wednesday at 11 a.m. for our next Facebook Live.